Hi everybody, my name is Lee Harrington. I'm a director of analytics here at Triands. And in this short video, I'm going to introduce you to Snowflake Streams and Merge. What a stream is, it adds a change data capture to Snowflake. So you're going to have your source table and imagine the source table would typically live in your staging environment. And when you put the stream on it to enable change data capture, every time you insert data, insert update or delete data in your source table, the stream just captures the changes. So imagine you have, you know, uh, many hundreds of millions of rows or terabytes of data in a, in a large table. Uh, and then you're doing your daily loads, you don't want to have to reload your entire uh, target table. So by capturing just the, the change data capture, uh, we can use the merge statement to merge just the changes um, from source to target. Now, I'm going to take you through a very simple example of this, but in this merge, I mean, it, it, you could do many things. Uh, you, could up, you could update many tables, you could be much more sophisticated, but we're going to just show you the, the example of the basic move data from into a source table, capture it in your change data capture, use the merge to update your target table. Now I'm using a, a lovely product called dBeaver. I'm using the free community version of it. Uh, uh, it does some things that um, even the web version of a uh, uh, web interface that Snowflake doesn't handle. Um, so in, I've already duplicated my d uh, database, I've cloned it. So whenever I'm working, I clone my environment so that I can work and not impact anybody else's work. And that's one, the zero copy clone is one of the wonderful features of Snowflake. So I've already done that in the background. And um, I'm going to make sure that I'm pointing to this new clone. And so I'm going to create a table. This is my source table. It's a simple ID, first and last name. I'll make sure I drop the previous version of this table, recreate it. And then the destination is essentially it's the same, a copy of the same. And now I'm going to create my stream. I'm going to drop the... So... You're going to create and replace the stream, give it a name. In this case, I, I call it a stream. Some people might call it a delta, something to let you know it, when you look at it that it's the change data capture. And now that I've created this, anytime I make changes to my source table, um, which is lead test source, it's going to be populated in the stream until some data management uh, command comes and consumes it. All right, so let's just enter uh, a couple records into my source table. All right, and then if I come over here, come to my clone, and let's let's look at my source. So here's our source data. We've entered three records. And if I go to the destination, it should be empty. And it is, because we haven't done anything. Um, let's go back here and look at the stream. Unfortunately, the stream doesn't appear in the list over here. So we just got to use SQL to display what is in our stream. So we've added three records. And here they are. The, the record... And we get a couple of metadata fields. So metadata action will say insert or delete. In this case, we have three inserts. Um, if there's an update, it actually handles it, as, and we'll get to that, but it actually handles it as an insert and a delete, and then it puts a flag here. We'll come back to that. And then uh, row IDs that it uses internally for its high water, high hard water mark. So right now, there are no records in our destination but they're sitting here in the stream and we're going to move it over with the merge statement. We have the merge statement. We're going to merge into destination everything that came from our source table or from the stream. Okay. And where they match, that means there's an ID in the stream 
that matched an ID in the destination table. So that meant the, in this case, the record already exists in destination. And if, if I'm doing an insert and the metadata is set to update, that tells me it's an update. And so we're going to update those two values because this is a very simple table that only has two values. All right. So ups, uh, updates are not action equals update. I, updates are actually an insert and a delete record with the flag. And we only handle the in, insert portion of that pair, but we'll get to that when we do an update. If it's matched and the value is delete, then we delete the record. And if it's not matched, that means it's a brand new. It's, it's in the source, but not in the destination. Then we just do our inserts here. All right, so let's run our, little, our merge. Okay, so let's go back. And now let's go to our destination. And now the data came by just like we wanted it to. And then if we go and look at our stream, there's not going to be anything in it because the merge consumed the stream. So um, the data, the change data capture of the stream will continue to record all the um, all the change that happens in your source system, and just keep stream keep holding it in a stream until you do a merge to consume it and move it over into your destination. All right. So in this. To show a little bit more, I'm just going to show an update. Updating. So we're going to update uh, the first record from Harrington. We're going to say Washington, where ID equals one. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to update my source. And then when I look at the stream, because it's an update, it has two records, insert and delete. Um, and you can see the insert has the, the Washington value. That's the new value we want. The other column, metadata is update, is connected uh, and said that it's an update, so it's true. So let's take a look at our merge statement. We're coming here, we're going to select from our stream. Um, we're going to ignore the records where it's delete and update is true, because we don't want to do anything with that. So where we're delete and is update is true, those are part of the updates that we're going to ignore because we're going to take the values from the insert row. All right, that's the fix that I, I did behind the scenes in magical uh, uh, video editing mode. All right, and so it's going to fall in. It's going to say, hey, this is an insert, but it's also the update. So instead of falling in here and doing the insert, it's going to just update the values. All right, and so when we run our merge, And let's take a look at our destination. And when I refresh it, the Harrington changes to Washington. Okay. And now we're going to look at the last uh, case. So we're going to delete uh, Tom Jones. So let's come in here and look at our delete. So where ID equals two, that's our, our Tom Jones. All right. And then let's look at how a delete looks inside your stream. So we're doing a delete. We have the ID. It's not part of an update. And so in our merge, it's going to fall through down to when there's a match between your stream and your target and it's marked for deletion, then we just delete the record. And so let's do the merge and come in here and look at our destination. Refresh it and then, all right. So there you have the very basics. Use streams for change data capture and the merge statement to apply those changes. Merge can be used for many other things and you can be much more sophisticated in how you handle change data capture, but that's your basics. So from source to target, you put a stream on the source table so that as you make changes they're recorded and all those they just keep accumulating in the in the stream until you do the merge and then it consumes it and it sets up the high the high water mark and it knows the next changes start to accumulate you know all by themselves 
Um, again, my name is Lee Harrington. I am with uh, Trians and um, wishing you all the best. Thanks.